All right, first thing you need to do, you need to get your door handle, door uh, regulator handle off, and you need to get the window regulator off. So we'll go ahead and pull those off. This particular one, it's got a screw slammed in there. You really shouldn't have a screw. There's an Allen bolt that's available to put in there. A set screw. That's because somebody's gotten in here and messed with it. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and replace this door regulator and we're gonna replace the window regulator as well. There we go. I don't know if you can make it out. That thing's all chewed up. Go ahead and take off our door handle. This Allen wrench is like a, uh, a two millimeter or a three millimeter. Next thing you want to do, you pop off your side here. It's got little plastic rivets in here. If you got a fancy paint job, obviously you want to be careful about this. This is a little older restoration, so we'll go ahead and get in here and pop these off. And the idea there you see here little plastic gizmos that just pop into the holes here okay also important thing to note here is there's no steel plate that goes there that needs to be there because what happens is moisture falls behind your window gets in between the door and then it's your cardboard soaks up that moisture and then becomes warped and now your fancy panel is warped. So don't think you can run without that panel there. There's a gasket that goes on there as well, okay? All right, so now here we have our door regulator and our window regulator. This door regulator is all chewed up. We're gonna replace this. And this window regulator is a shorter version. They make them in a quarter inch extended. So an inch and a quarter versus one inch. We're gonna go ahead and replace this to an inch and a quarter.